so uh, if we have a binary degree relationship with a maximum cardinality of one to many so this is the first case theek hai so ek example lete hain let's try to understand this with the help of an example for example we have a students relation okay and we have a cards relation okay so we have this students relation with student id as the primary key okay and a column name and in the cards relation for example we have card id as the primary key and for example rf id is is an attribute okay and let's assume that the relationship is a one to many cardinality relationship in erd for example this relationship is a one to many cardinality relationship which means that a student can have more than one cards for example this is the scenario that we have uh, a one to many cardinality in this particular relationship a one to many cardinality is a cardinality that is one to many from one while one to one from the other side the overall cardinality is a one to many cardinality so this many shows that one student may have more than one cards and all of them they are to be stored right we have to maintain data of all of the cards issued to a student so because of this fact this cardinality is one to many cardinality so we have got two options one option is ke hum student id ko add kar sakte hain card side ke upar so this is the first option adding student id in the cards relation the second option is to add card id in the students relation so let's assume ke hum स्टूडेंट आई डी को कार्ड आई डी को पहले हम यहां पर लेके आते हैं एज अ फॉर्म की ओके सो लेट सपोज दैट दिस कार्ड आई डी हैज बिन क्रिएटेड इन द स्टूडेंट रिलेशन इन ऑर्डर टू अकोमोडेट दिस रिलेशनशिप फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर इज अ स्टूडेंट हुज आई डी इज वन नेम इज एक्स वाई जी एंड फॉर एग्जाम्पल हेयर वी हैव अ कार्ड वन विद आर एफ आई डी एक्स एक्स वाई दिस कार्ड हैज बिन इश्यूड टू स्टूडेंट वन ओके देर इज अनदर स्टूडेंट टू ए बी सी कार्ड नंबर इज टू and we have this card number y y and z for example now let's suppose student 1 has been issued with a new card because that that is possible a student can have more than one cards right so for example there is a new card which is zzo this card is to be issued to student number 1 so can we do that how in order to do that i'll have to make a new entry hai na so i'll have to write 1 x y z and 3 is it possible can i do it yes, how because it's a according key for the student matter nahi karta primary key i am violating the rule i cannot duplicate a primary key that is a separate thing if we have a composite key if if we have a composite primary key then we cannot repeat the repetition single value can be repeated but here we do not have a composite primary key we have a simple primary key form key is a separate thing that is a pure form key in this particular relation so i have to repeat this value of primary key which is not permitted so i cannot do it okay so i kisko nahi nahi na beta humne wo one is humne one wale student ke sath usko link karna hai na agar hum uski id change karenge to that becomes a different student okay मैं वही कह रहा हूं कि सारी पॉसिबिलिटीज हम चेक कर रहे हैं सो दिस इज दर्स्ट पॉसिबिलिटी दैट वी हैव एडेड द प्राइमरी की फ्रॉम कार्ड टू स्टूडेंट बट वी हैव जस्ट सीन दैट इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल वी कैन नॉट डू इट बिकॉज वी विल बी वायोलेटिंग द रूल्स इट इज अगेंस्ट द रूल्स बिकॉज विल बी फोर्स टू डुप्लीकेट प्राइमरी की विच वी कैन नॉट डू ओके सो दिकेंड ऑप्शन इज दैट वी कैन
क्या चीज नहीं नहीं मल्टी वैल्यूड नहीं हो सकती मल्टी वैल्यूड नहीं हो सकती मल्टी वैल्यूड का मतलब होता है एक के अगेंस्ट मल्टीपल वैल्यू आप कह रहे हो कि हम फॉर्म की को मल्टी वैल्यूड कर दें दैट वॉज एन एट्रीब्यूट ना फॉर्म की इज नेवर अ मल्टी वैल्यूड थिंग ना उसको उसमें मल्टीपल वैल्यूज नहीं उसके अंदर हम डाल सकते ठीक है वो चीज नहीं कर सकते सो दी अदर ऑप्शन इज दैट वी कैन एड स्टूडेंट आई डी ऑन दिस साइड दिस इज दी अदर ऑप्शन ओके वी कैन एड स्टूडेंट आई डी इन दी कार्ड रिलेशन इज देर एनी इशू इन डूइंग इट कार्ड नंबर वन वॉज इशू टू स्टूडेंट वन कार्ड नंबर टू वॉज इशू टू स्टूडेंट टू कार्ड नंबर थ्री इज अगेन इशू टू स्टूडेंट नंबर वन is there any violation there is no violation okay so this becomes the rule whenever there is a one to many cardinality relationship whenever the maximum cardinality is one to many primary key from the one side goes as form key to the many side okay now this has become a rule whenever there is a one to many cardinality फॉर्म की वुड बी क्रिएटेड इन दी मैनी साइड रिलेशन ओके इज देर एनी कंफ्यूजन बिकॉज दिस इज दी ओनली पॉसिबिलिटी दिस इज दी ओनली पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ एकोमोडेटिंग दिस फॉर्म की वी कैन नॉट एड द फॉर्म की ऑन दी वन साइड बिकॉज इफ वी डू दैट विल बी फोर्स टू डुप्लीकेट द प्राइमरी की दैट वी कैन नॉट डू so the only option available to us is to add the form key on the many sides relation okay clear any confusion great next if we have a many to many cardinality relationship we learned while we were discussing the entity relationship diagram that if there is a many to many cardinality relationship that is always converted into an associative entity so if we have already converted that into an associative entity then that's perfectly fine otherwise for example we still have for example that relationship as a relationship and that ha has not been converted into an associative entity for example that is the case okay the case is that the uh, many to many cardinality relationship has not been converted into an associative entity for example let's assume so for example we have a many to many cardinality over here which is a student can have more than one cards one card can be issued to more than one students and we have to keep track of all the cards issued to one student and one card issued to all of the students we have to maintain this data so in order to maintain this data we have to model this cardinality as a many to many cardinality because it's many to one to many from both the sides so what we can do for example we have this students relation and we have this cards relation the same relations student and card and we have student id as its primary key name and we have card id as the primary key and for example we have rf id now we have to accommodate one card issued to many students and one student issued with many cards both these scenarios are to be covered okay so the two options are first option is if we add this card id here for example card id is added here as a primary key so we have a student one name is x card is one we have card one over here x x o for example now for example a new card is issued to issued to the same student that cannot be accommodated over here because we will have to duplicate the primary key we cannot do that as we have seen in the previous example the second possibility which is one ca card issued to many student that can be accommodated okay for example this card one is issued to another student number 2 why one this is possible okay so one thing is possible while the other is not okay so one card issued to many student this thing can be accommodated over here because primary key can be duplicated but one student having more than one cards this thing cannot be accommodated if a form key is added 
to this student's relation. The other option is to add the form key on the other side, which is adding student ID over here. So, for example, this one is issued to student ID one. Yes. Now, for example, there is another card, and that is issued to another student. And for example, this card is issued to another student. Uh, to this, this card is issued to another student. So, how to accommodate that? We cannot do that. We cannot duplicate the primary key. So, both the options they cannot be done. We cannot create a foreign key in any of these because if a foreign key is created in any of these, we'll be able to accommodate one of the case, not the other one. One to many from one side can be accommodated, but one to many from the other side cannot be accommodated. So, the only possibility is to have a third relation. We will be having a third relation. We will define a new relation with foreign keys from both the participating relations. So, student ID would be added as a foreign key and C ID which is card ID would be added as a foreign key. Now, for example, one has a card one, one ha has a card two, okay, and two has a card one. Now, you can see that all of the cases, they have been accommodated. One student issued with more than one cards. One has card number one and one has card number two. So, this uh, scenario has been accommodated and one card issued to more than one student. This card one has been issued to one. This card one has been issued to student number two. So, both the cases, they have been accommodated. This relation may foreign keys to aagain. Theek hai, student ID isko refer kar rahi hai aur ye card id isko refer kar rahi hai so teesre relation ke andar hamesha form keys aayengi participating relation se ye ek rule hai jo teesre relation banega to accommodate the many to many cardinality that relation shall have form keys from both the participating relations pehli cheez dusri cheez ab iske liye primary key kya hogi we have two cases over here, okay? We have further two cases. The first case is, as per scenario, if there is a chance of repetition of this combination, if there is a possibility of repetition of these values, obviously this thing is scenario dependent. For example, the scenario was that card is issued on date basis daily a new card is issued to a student and once the student leaves the campus he returns the card on next day that card is issued to someone else but there is a possibility that that, that student is issued with the same card for example after a few days for example this card one was issued to student one on for example 8th march and for example same card was issued to same student on 9th march so there is a chance of repetition of this combination. So, whenever there is a chance of repetition of the combination of values in that uh, both the form keys, in that particular case, these form keys cannot be used as a primary key. Now, in this scenario, we cannot declare this combination of form keys as a composite primary key. So, we will add a new id over here we will add a new value we will add a new sorry attribute over here and that attribute would be used as a primary key now this is the new primary key this is done whenever there is a chance of repetition of values in the foreign keys of combination of repetition the second case is for example there is no chance of repetition for example Kabhi bhi aisa nahi hoga ke ek student ko jo ek card issue hua hai, wo dubara se us student ko issue ho. For example, that, that is the case. For example, the possibility is that there is no chance of repetition of the combination of values in the form key. In that particular case, we can use this combination as a composite primary key for this newly created relation. 